Hello everyone my name is Mini Sethi I hope you all are staying healthy today we are going to talk about arrow impossibility theorem arrow impossibility theorem is given by Kenneth Arrow Kenneth Arrow was a famous american economist he got a nobel prize in economics and according to arrow impossibility theorem we cannot make social decision which will be satisfying the preferences of all individual in economics according to arrow impossibility theorem we cannot make social decision which will be satisfying the preferences of all individual in economics and in order to construct a valid social welfare from individual preferences arrow has introduced five conditions uh, consistency and transitivity responsiveness to individual preferences the condition of non imposition non dictatorship independency of irrelevant alternative firstly we discuss about each condition and after that we will see why we cannot make social decision which will be satisfying the preference of all individual in economics first condition is consistency and transitivity consistency and transitivity means we should consistent with our decision for example if you are given option between three baskets basket a basket b and basket c and in particular situation you choose basket a and if you are again given chance to choosing between same baskets you again choose basket a means you are consistent with your decision a second condition is responsiveness to individual preferences it means social choice should be move in same direction to individual preferences for example if every individual prefer a over b then society will also prefer a over b and third condition is condition of non imposition it means individual preferences should not be imposed by any external factor means individual preferences should not be forced by someone who is living outside the community next condition is non dictatorship non dictatorship means absence of dictatorship so what is dictatorship dictatorship means when one person or small group have a absolute power and according to this condition there must be absence of dictatorship means wishes of all voters must be equally considered next condition is independence of irrelevant alternative it means when one choice removed other existing choice will not affected for example if we have three candidates a b and c candidate a got 45% vote b got 35% vote and c got 20% vote suppose if candidate b removed then other existing candidate a and c will not affected but in real life this is not possible and uh, according to arrow in order to get social welfare from individual preferences these all five condition must be satisfy but in real life this is not possible to satisfying all these five condition at least one condition will be violated if one condition is violated then how can we get social welfare from individual preferences because our social welfare from individual preferences is based on all these five condition so to clearly understand this concept we will see one example how one condition is violated here we take example of fifth condition independence of irrelevant alternative according to this condition if one choice is removed then other existing choice will not affected here we have three candidates a b and c and we have 100 voters in case one uh, there are 45 people who prefer a over b and b over a and here a is leading with 45 votes in second case we have 35 people who prefer b over c and c over a and here b have maximum 35 vote in third case we have 20 people who prefer c over a and a over b and here c have maximum 20 vote and according to majority vote system a is winner because a has highest 45 vote now suppose if b is removed now b is not in picture only we have a over c and c over a only we have a over c and c over a now you can clearly see a over c only have 45 people a over c 
only have 45 people because we removed B. But C over A have 35 plus 20 people. C over A have 35 plus 20 people means 55 people. Now A have only 45 vote but C have 55 vote. In this case C is winner. According to this condition when one choice is removed then other existing choice will not affected. But here we saw when we removed B then A and C are affected. So this condition is violated. If this condition is violated means we cannot construct social welfare from individual preferences because according to Arrow in order to construct a valid social welfare from individual preferences these all five conditions must be satisfied this is all about arrow impossibility theorem i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care